Hi, third graders. Welcome to Art Today, Art at Home. So glad to have you with me today. Uh, you are going to need something to write with, so a pen, pencil, anything you have, and a piece of paper. I just have this on this board so that I can hold it up <clears throat> and show you in the, in the video, but just a piece of paper. Okay, today we are going to be drawing an at-home activity because one of the things that third graders talk about is ways to practice civic responsibility. And so right now, um, people in Utah and around the country are being asked to stay home as much as they can. And part of why we're doing that is to be good citizens. And one of the things that we are doing is making sure that if we're sick, we stay home or that we practice social distancing. So we stay, try to stay about six feet apart from people if we do need to go out. And if, um, if you're like me, um, I love getting outside, especially when I'm home um, during this time. And so what we're gonna draw is an outside scene of something that you could do um, from afar with someone. So I want you to be thinking of things that maybe you've done this week outside, e either in your yard or maybe at, at a park that you went to. Hopefully you've gotten outside a little bit and um, think about some of the things that you were able to do. Um, I know they're kind of limited, but we can be creative. So we are going to start with a tree and um, that will just give us kind of a focal point here in our picture. So we're gonna have some slightly curved lines that curve away from each other. And then inside here, we can kind of follow that line down and then shoot it back up. And same thing again, you can follow it down and maybe there's a bigger dip here and it comes up and maybe it goes off to the side a little bit. And then that means you need to come in and draw another set of lines in here. This doesn't have to be perfect. This is just for fun. So you can add more branches if you want on the sides. But um, right now, it's spring, right? So we actually don't have a ton of leaves on our trees like this yet. So we're going to want to uh, probably finish off the branches instead of having them be hidden by the leaves. So they just get skinnier and maybe they break off a couple times. They branch off like this. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is kind of um, an experimental drawing. Just go for it and see what happens. So then um, with our tree and our little branches, I'm, I'm going to add a few more little ones because I've been noticing these pretty trees outside that have all these skinny branches with these little tiny buds on them that are so pretty. So that's what we're going to draw. So think of your favorite spring tree. You can just add if it's, um, if it's buds, here's a better, buds of flowers or leaves starting to, um, grow. Sometimes they look like little cotton balls or like berries. I've seen all kinds of little starts of things growing on tree branches. The berry ones probably, they're not actually berries, but they're going to turn into something else. So if you need to, you could go out and go on a walk and find a tree to look at first, and then you could come back and add, add on what you see outside. And maybe you want to notice the tree too, what kind of texture it has, if it has any knots or missing pieces. And then I'm not too worried about 
drawing all the details down here, but I'm just going to draw some grass near the bottom of the tree that is covering up where the roots are. Okay, so in my drawing, this is at the park. Um, and at the park, it's a great place to go because you can, of course, other people can be there and they can be far away. And that's what I'm gonna draw here. So some of the things that um, I've seen people do or that I've done, I've seen people go on walks and stay um, apart from each other or, you know, just pass at a distance. I've seen um, people fly kites, which is really fun. Um, you know, maybe you take a soccer ball or um, if you're playing catch with someone in your own family. So you get to decide. So I didn't put two people in this picture. This is going to be me right here. So here's my head. But I'm going to be looking that way, away from the viewer of the picture, um, because my friend is going to be over here in the distance. Remember how things, when they're in the distance in art, they look a little smaller. So this person's head would be a little smaller than mine. And again, they don't have to be perfect. Okay, so we're just going to be... Um, Hmm, I like the kite idea, but I'll let you use that if you want one, that one. I'm going to just do waving because it's kind of fun to see people outside on walks and you don't have to go up to them, but you can wave from far. So um, I'm going to just kind of go ahead and draw the back of my head here. And then, okay, so I'm using pen. It's okay if you make mistakes. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to do a little V. And another V for my arm. And then my other arm will be down this side. This is my coat with a hood on it because it's been a little windy. And then here's the bottom of the coat. Here's my hand. Here's my hand waving, and then here are my legs and the back of my shoes. There's the side of my foot. Sorry, no, it's kind of far away. Okay, if you were going to draw a soccer player, it would be the same idea, right? You would draw, you can draw this person backwards and the ball could be right here. Or if you were playing catch or frisbee or something with your own family that lives with you, you could draw it in the air going to this person. Or if you had a kite in your hand, you could draw it coming up. So there's lots of things you can do. And all these things are still um, being a good citizen and being careful, which is great. So at least these are the rules we have right now in our cities. So here's my friend. I'll just put my friend right here. And she'll be waving back to me. Um, let's see, she has a scarf on. And a coat, too. I'm going to do the same thing, basically, just back. The same thing I did here, but now I'm facing the front. Okay. Coat. And pants. I'm trying to make her look a little smaller than me because we're far apart. And that will show will show that we're far apart if she's smaller. 
I could probably have done a better job making her smaller, but that's okay. It still looks like we're about six feet apart, hopefully, which is what I was trying to show. Okay. But yeah, they could be farther away. They could be on the other side of the field, which is, is great. And you could wave across. So another trick I'm going to do is I'm going to make the grass look smaller by her feet. So smaller than my grass. So hopefully that also will show that she's farther away from me. We don't have to draw all the grass. We're just drawing some to show that there's grass. Not really sure how that works, but it, it kind of does, huh? And then in the very back, we'll put the edge of the hill, like very small grass back here. So hopefully that kind of looks like we're in the same place but we're far away. And I'm just gonna add a couple more. This is great, if, if you do this much, this is awesome. And then you can sign your name on the front. We do the bottom right corner. Um, mine's gonna look backwards on the camera to you, but that's okay. And then you can start from here to add more details. But this is a great time to take a break if you wanna just stop the video. You focused a lot up to this point, so you could stop the video, go do something else, or you know, get some exercise or something, and come back and color later. I'm going to keep the video going so that I can show you how I finish, um, and you can follow along, or you can just turn it off. You can um, speed to the end to see what I did whatever you want. So I'll go ahead and make a copy real quick. Making a copy for people who can't see this video. And then I'll get coloring. And today I'm going to color with crayon, crayons. And I have um, this board that I'm using also to protect my desk. If you don't, you don't need a board like this, but if you have something you could put under your paper, even if it's just another paper, that way you can, um, then you'll be able to color all the way to the edge and not worry about getting your art on the table. So I'm going to go ahead and color mine in. I'll kind of show you what I'm doing here. And then this is just for fun. If you have music, that you can turn on for this part, like we do in art, that would be great. Sometimes it helps helps you focus. I really like doing classical music because it just is structured, and I feel like it helps it helps your brain concentrate. It that's kind of what it does. Kind of makes me feel calmer. But um, yeah, so if you want to do music, or if you want to have quiet, or do it with someone else and you can talk, or um, choose your own kind of music, listen to a book, like an audio book while you're coloring, uh, color while you're watching some kind of movie, or anything like that, these are all options. be a good calm activity. Today I'll just do it quiet so that you can choose your own background and that way I can post the video. Some of you have to be kind of careful with copyright laws with having music in the video, so I'll let you choose your own. So just doing some basic coloring. You can always add in more details, like two colors on the same tree is a fun idea. Um, 
whatever you want. And I forgot to say this, but if you don't have anything to color with, that's fine because you can do more detail just with your pencil or pen that you're using to shade, just shade things in so they look a little more 3D like we talked about, or you can add just texture and detail that way too, so that's great. If you do have something to color with, um, and remember this could be paint or any kind of dry media, um, you can add, add details as much as you want. Um, I'm trying to think what my friend looks like, so I can do the same colors that I see. Okay. But I'll show you some of the some of the details I'm going to add in the background that I didn't really draw, but I'll just add them in and tell you about them. I'll tell you why. Let's see. There's so many blues in this crayon box. It's awesome. But sometimes it's fun to draw things or color them the way they, the colors they actually are. And that's what I'm doing right now. But also it can be fun to draw it and make up your own colors. So feel free to do whatever you want. can't remember, then that's a good time to make up the color. I can't remember what my friend was wearing yesterday when I saw her, but I'm going to do these pants and do let's do a made up. I'm gonna make up a color because I want my my drawing to be a little more colorful, so I'm gonna pretend like she was wearing a red coat. Balance out all the blue that I already have. Okay, and she actually was wearing a white scarf, and I liked that, so I'm going to keep that the same. And she was in white. Ooh, white gold. Okay. Oops. We've got green grass. Now for the grass, a trick you could do is you can color in a darker on the part that you drew separately and then you could color in the rest a lighter color of green if you want. So it's kind of highlighting some and maybe I'll highlight the edge too. I mean, there's so many ways you can do it. You can do it how, however you want. You might have a trick that you like doing, and that is great. And if you have a chance to share it with me, that would be awesome. I love all the grass out in the fields right now, the parks, like just spring's coming, it's so exciting. If you wanted, you could do this whole activity outside, I guess. You could just take this with you to the to the yard or the park on like a board or a book and just draw what you see. That'd be a great idea. Something to do. If you have 
some extra time. Since I'm coloring a big area right now, I'm using big strokes like this so it doesn't take so long. So I did the smaller short strokes for the grass that I was highlighting, but I'm doing bigger strokes for the background. It's all going up and down, so it's still the direction of the grass, but it doesn't have to be like drying individual rows of grass. I mean, you could do that if you wanted, though. And here I'm going off the page, but onto the board. So it's good to have something underneath that you can color on. Even if it's just like a scrap piece of paper from the recycling or something. Okay. So I get to choose a color for my blossomy leaf things and I can't decide. So I'm doing some green and some pink that I'm just excited to have blossoms. can see it doesn't really matter what what you choose this is um this is looking like it's it's ready to be finished I was just going to show you that if you wanted to you could add um, some background here like some mountains have our amazing mountains that um, are all around the valley or we could and even clouds if you've seen um, last night I was looking at the clouds they were just huge resting on the mountain so you could add all that in right here um, and today I'm just gonna finish it off with a blue sky but you there are lots of um, just because we're done drawing with our pen or pencil we can still add details with color if you want to, or you, you, know, you could draw it with pen too. <clears throat> Sometimes it's fun to just add it with color though, like a sunset, you can blend some colors. You're all good at sunsets, I know. For the sake of this video, I'm going to finish up this sky coloring lightly. I'll show you how it looks. It's pretty light, but if you wanted to, like I said, this doesn't, this art project can be broken up into different um, sections throughout the day or week, so you could always come back and it might be really fun to take if you're using crayons I, I don't know what you're using but whatever material you are to take it and come back in and really like really make it bright and bold and take your time and you could really brighten up your picture um, and it will make it pop so it could you can turn something that's kind of just an assignment just a just a fun little exercise into more of a finished masterpiece, a finished product. If you want to go back and spend, if you take really take that time, um, then that'll be fun. So, all right. Um, thank you so much for being here and drawing today with our um, outside activity drawing. And we'll take care and we'll see you later.